What's up guys, it's your boy DS, and today we're going to be going over the Claw Blade. Now, this is honestly a very unique weapon. When I initially saw how this weapon played, I instantly thought of Levi from Attack on Titan. That's just what I thought of. Looking at our uh, attack strings, this is the light. As you guys see right there. And then here's the heavy, which is just that. And then if you press it forward... You'll see it right there. Now, with that, you are actually able to infinitely combo your lights into your heavies because you'll do your lights and then you do your forward heavy. Now, as you guys see, doing that, we filled our gauge up to max. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Now, on top of that, you do have some air lights that are actually pretty good. And then you also have an air heavy that's pretty good. So, those are just things to note. You can, you know, go into, you know, these things over and over. So, yeah, they, they all combo in each other, the lights into the heavies, or whatever the case may be. Now, talking about the bar. Uh, the bar is what you're going to be using your special with. And the special is the claw, as you guys see right there. Now, once you hit an enemy, it will attach you to the enemy. Looking right here. I am now attached to the enemy. As you guys see right here, you can evade in the air from the left to the right. And this is why I said it kind of reminds me of Attack on Titan. And it doesn't take any stamina. You can basically do this until the tether is, you know, released. Just make sure not to go too high and not have a way to get down. Because if you do, you could end up killing yourself. Now, on top of you being able to move, you can press your special button again. And this will pull you to the kimono and then off of that you can obviously go into you know a light and you can also go into a heavy now as far as the heavy goes you want to make sure you do it a little bit early or you may end up missing the kimono and just flying right over them so just keep that in mind now that we've talked about the light and the heavy i want to talk about the super so you have to do damage and once you start glowing red you will be able to do a super. All you have to do is press your heavy attack while you're glowing red. As you guys see, you will do the super right there. Now, keep in mind, uh, I mean, you can be hit out of that. So you just want to be careful whenever you guys do that and make sure that you have an opening. Now, one thing I want to talk about is the movement you can do whenever you are hooked onto a kimono. Not only can you dash left and right, but you can also technically jump, as you guys see right here. Now, jumping does take stamina, but dashing does not. So you can technically get your stamina back, and you can do the jumps and everything like that, and then go into whatever you need to do. This is just a really good movement tool, whether you need to get in or out. Now that we're done talking about all that, I do want to talk about your Katakuri attacks. As you guys obviously know, the box is going to allow you to do that right there. And as you guys see, you did get a little bit of time on your claw, which is going to be really nice. Now, the thing about that is the higher you jump, the more claw time you'll get. As you guys see right there, I got even more time because I jumped from a higher distance. Another one to look at is the spring. And as you guys see, I missed. So whenever you do that, you want to make sure that you're a little bit farther away. Because if you're not, you will end up missing the kimono. We also have the torch. Which is just going to apply the fire to your weapon and, you know, do, do your fire slash. Now, the glider actually gives you access to your claw, allowing you to aim and hit a kimono if you need to. As you guys see right here. And then you can just hook onto them and then go about whatever you need to do. Also, at any point, if you want to disconnect, just press your sheath button and you will stow away your weapon. And in doing so, you will take the claw off a of kimono. Now, like I said, overall, claw blade is going to be a weapon where you basically need to get your bar up, hook onto the kimono, and then start dishing out crazy amounts of damage, trying to get your special off or your super as much as possible. Now, there are a couple of different skills that you guys can get. One of the main things you do want to make sure you're getting, though, is going to be stamina. Simply because this weapon is stamina heavy, you will be using a lot of stamina while using this weapon. Whether you're, you know, using it in the air or whatever the case may be. So, make sure you guys get as much stamina, st stamina regen, 
uh, less stamina cost, whatever the case, make sure you guys get that. But a good skill to get is Claw Master. Boost the amount of claw gauge increases when the claw is planted in a kimono. So basically, instead of you guys just getting the little bit whenever you plant it inside, you will actually get a little bit more, which is just going to be really nice if you're trying to get off some damage really quickly. Another one you can look at is Claw Boost Fury, which is just going to uh, boost the power of your claw-based attacks, which if you guys are playing, you know, correctly, you are going to be doing a lot of claw-based attacks. And on top of that, this weapon hits really fast, so adding crit to this weapon can be a nice addition as well. Now, if you guys do plan on getting your claw gauge to max as much as possible, Turbulence Fury is going to be nice because once you do a claw attack after getting your max, you know, maximum claw gauge, you will be getting a boost in your attack, so that's going to be really nice also. Area Freedom is really nice as well because it does reduce your stamina that you use whenever you're doing evasive leaps, which are basically the air jumps. Now, like I said, anything that deals with stamina is something you're really going to want to have. Now, you can pretty much use whatever you want. It is completely up to you. Uh, whatever type of build you want to go for, that's up to you. But I do want to say that Aerial Strike Fury is also really nice because it boosts the power of aerial attacks. And you're pretty much going to be in the air all the time if you are playing uh, this weapon correctly. And then Aerial Strike Bust is nice if you guys are trying to get uh, a bunch of different parts of the kimono for resources, wherever the case may be, completely up to you. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.